Do you want your math calculations to be a piece of cake? I'll share with you 10 amazing math tricks that will help you do these calculations in seconds. Watch this video till the end and you're sure to impress everyone with your math magic. So, let's go to the whiteboard. Squares of numbers ending with 5. Let's take an example of 65. So we need to find 65 times 65. Let's split the answer in two parts. Last part will always be 25. We need to find out what comes before that. Going back to the number 65, ignore the unit digit, which is 5, and look at the remaining digits, which in this case is 6. Add 1 to it, which makes it 7. Now, multiply 6 and 7, which gives 42. So we found out that the first part of the answer, which is 42, and the final answer is 4,225. Now let's try with another example. 105 square, 105 times 105. We know the last part of the answer is 25. Now we'll find 10 times 11, which is 110. And the answer is 11025. Remember this trick is only for squares of numbers ending with five. So you can solve 35 square, 45 square, but not for 35 times 45 square of the next number. That is, if you know the square of a number, how can you quickly find the square of the number next to it? For example, we have to find the square of 21, which is next to 20, and we know the square of 20 is 400. Now to 400, just add 20 and 21. That is 441. And that's the answer! Simple, right? So, what will be the square of 41? It will be 40 square plus 40 plus 41, which is 1,681. Amazing, isn't it? Let's also learn to find the square of the previous number. Let's try 19, a number previous to 20. We know 20 square is 400. Now all we need to do is 400 minus 20 minus 19, which is 361. So the trick to remember is, if you're finding a square of the next number, you're adding numbers to the square. And when finding the square of the previous number, you're subtracting the numbers from the square. You already need the squares of one to 10 and multiples of 10, like 20, 30, and so on. After learning three methods so far, you can now calculate the squares of over 60% of the two-digit numbers in seconds. Next is a simple way to multiply the numbers with only nines in it, like 9, 99, 999. Let's try to find 89 times 9. Multiply a number by 10 and then subtract the number from it. So, 89 times 10 minus 89, which is 801. If we have to find 89 times 99, we will multiply it by 100 and then subtract the number from it. So, 89 times 100 minus 89, which is 8,811. Let's now see a quick way to multiply a number by 25. Let's try 420 times 25. Multiply the number by 100, which is 42,000, and then half it twice. Half of 42,000 is 21,000, and the further half of it is 10,500, and that's the answer. This works because 25 is the same as 100 divided by 4. Simple and smart, isn't it? Similarly, if you have to multiply by 5, just add a zero at the end and then half it. 420 times 5 will be half of 4200, which is 2100. 
So, that's the answer. Now let's learn to multiply two numbers close to 100. Let's say we need to find 98 times 97, which we can write as 100 minus 2 times 100 minus 3, right? We'll first find 100 minus 2 plus 3, which is 95, times by 100, which is 9500, and keep it aside. Now multiply 2 and 3, which is 6. Add 9500 and 6, and the final answer is 9506. Cool, isn't it? Well, once you get the hang of it, try with numbers closer to 1000 or even 10,000, like this example of 995 times 992. It's amazing you can multiply such huge numbers in seconds, isn't it? Let's look at some percentage tricks now. There are some basics, as we all know. 50% is half, 25% is half, and then half again. That is one fourth. 10% is just divided by 10, 1% is just divided by 100. Now we can work out any other percentage using these rules. 75% you can break it as 50% plus 25%. Let's try 75% of 30. 50% of 30 is 15. That is half. 25% is 7.5. That is half of 15. So 75% is 15 plus 7.5, which is 22.5. And the next tip will definitely surprise you. If you haven't noticed before, that is, 95% of 10 is the same as 10% of 95. That is true for all percentage equations and sometimes one is easier to solve than the other. Like in this case, it's definitely easier to solve 10% of 95, which is 9.5. Now you can solve 42% of 50 in a jiffy. Answer is 21. We just had to do 50% of 42 instead. How to compare two fractions. Let's take an example and compare two fractions. 6 by 25 and 3 by 13 to see which one is bigger. You can do the cross product to quickly find that. 6 times 13 is 78. 3 times 25 is 75. Side which is larger product is a larger fraction. So 6 by 25 is greater than 3 by 13. How do we turn a number with repeating decimals into a fraction? That is, if you have a number like 0 0.2 reoccurring with a repeating pattern after the decimal, how do you turn that into a fraction? First, find the number that is repeating. In this case, it's 2. Then, see how many digit number that is. Here, it is one digit. Now, divide the repeating number by the same amount of nines. So, in the fraction form, it will be 2 by 9. Let's check another example to make it clear. If the number is 0 0.34 recurring, the repeating number is 34, and it is a two digit number, so in fraction form, it will be 34 over 99. And the next one is squares of numbers with only ones. Like 11 times 11, 111 times 111, and so on. This one is very interesting. 11 times 11 is 121. 111 times 111 is 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. And look at the rest. You must have noticed the pattern by now. So, if there are only two ones, we're writing the numbers up to two and then back to one. And for three ones, we go up to three, then back, and so on. This pattern will work up to numbers with nine ones. <laughs> and that's a big number. Hope you've learned something new today. If so, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos. Take care and see you in the next one.